Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. The United States District Court for the Western District of Missouri is now in session. The Honorable Brian Fenimore presiding. God save the United States and this honorable court. Good morning, everyone. This is an exciting day for all of you, and it is a great honor and a privilege to be here with you for your naturalization ceremony. In a few minutes, you will swear an oath that all naturalized citizens must make when becoming a United States citizen. Just like the oath that I swore when I became a United States judge, you will promise to support and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States. Why is that? The Constitution is the heart and the soul of our great nation. For more than 230 years, our Constitution has been the symbol of and a testament to people's capacity to govern themselves. Its overarching intent is to give each and every one of us the right and the opportunity to live life, to enjoy liberties, to pursue happiness, all free from oppression. It gives each of us the ability and the responsibility to always endeavor to do what is right and good, to better our lives and the lives of others around us, to make a positive and meaningful difference in the world, and to dream of ways to make this an even greater nation and to find ways to make those dreams come true. Now, what are some of the ways that you can do this? First, you should get to know your neighbors and to get involved in your community. There is nothing more important than grassroots efforts at the community level to make this a greater nation. There are many more opportun many opportunities out there for you to consider. Schools, community, charities, and service organizations are some examples. If you cannot find any that appeal to you, create some new opportunities for you and others to get involved in. You should respect the rights and the privileges of others. You should be willing to work and to work hard, not only for the ability to acquire worldly possessions, but also to gain education and knowledge. You should be patriotic and proud of your new citizenship and participate in your local, state, and national governments by voting. But first, you must inform yourself of the important issues that impact you and your neighbors and inform yourself of the candidates who are running for office. While your adopted homeland demands and deserves your complete allegiance, which you will swear today, you are fortunate to have and you should have concern about the land and the people of your birth. And in making you one of us, we Americans do not expect you to abandon the rich heritages from which you came. You must nurse these memories, teach your children of them, enjoy your ethnic or national communities, all the time using them as building blocks for a better and more productive life in this new homeland of yours. In closing, I wish for you all the best things in life. This is a thrilling moment for you and for everyone here today. Now, the moment for which you've all been working so hard. Who will be introducing the applicants today? Yes, you may proceed. Your Honor, this morning, I would like to introduce 26 applicants for the United States citizenship. These applicants come from 18 different countries. They have met all the formal requirements for the United States citizenship. On taking the oath of allegiance, each one will have the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of the United States citizenship. At this time, we are removed that the oath of allegiance be administered to the respective citizens of the United States. Your motion is granted, and the court hereby accepts these 20, 26 applicants. Ms. Wymore Wynn, will you please administer the oath to the applicants? Would the applicants for citizenship please raise your right hand and repeat after me? I do hereby declare upon oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state or sovereignty of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen 
that I will support and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by law, that I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States when required by law, that I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by law, and that I take this obligation freely without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. By the power vested in me under the Constitution and the laws of the United States, the court hereby grants each of you citizenship in the United States of America. Congratulations. It is my great pleasure to welcome all of you as my new fellow citizens, my new brothers and sisters in this great nation. You are to be congratulated on all of your hard work and your accomplishments. I now invite all of you to join me in our Pledge of Allegiance. It is printed on the last page of your program. As we say the pledge together, I want you to focus on the last five words of the pledge, liberty and justice for all, and think about what those words mean to you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Congratulations again. That concludes our ceremony.